The wonderful thing about paleontology, anyone can do it. And some of the most remarkable discoveries in the history of paleontology have been made by complete amateurs. That's what makes it such a wonderful science to get into. When you're actually hunting dinosaur bones in the field, you've got to first place yourself in an area of the right aged rock. Once you know you say in the late Cretaceous, like we are in the Midwest of North America, you then start looking for the right type of environment. Environments where it has to be first terrestrial, uh, uh, land laying deposits within river systems and lakes. They're the ideal ones where deposition of sediments are occurring at a regular pace and any animal that might end up in this sort of environment would have a good chance of being covered by the sediment and being preserved as a fossil. So you really, every time you're going into the field, you're trying to increase your chance of finding a fossil by being in a good area. And a good area has these sort of characteristics. I followed the, the bone fragments up the little gully and I saw two spinal bones sticking out of the hill. They were together, they were articulated, you know, so they were in the, in the correct order. I knocked off a little piece of what I thought was just sandstone, and I, I looked at it, and it had a weird pattern to it. And at that point, I knew that we had a 3D dinosaur mummy. I was absolutely thrilled. What is interesting though is of course we've got dinosaurs alive on the planet today, they're everywhere. We call them birds. Birds are the direct descendants of dinosaurs and if you want to create a dinosaur that you'd recognise, you would take information from the genetic code of a bird, tweak it, stop it growing feathers, turn on the gene that's actually a recessive gene now, it doesn't turn on and we have socketed teeth growing. That's where the old wives tale of as rare as hen's teeth comes from. But really for me, birds are dinosaurs. They are avian theropods. They're derived predatory dinosaurs.